Gambia's Ministry of Defense and the Gambian forces are currently on a nationwide tour for military homes and institutions. Yesterday, the team were in North Bank region, where they visited the 2nd Infantry Batal Battalion in the north part of the country. The force of its kind, under the leadership of Sheikh Omar Fai, since being appointed Defense Minister in August, will earn him forced her knowledge on the environment of the country's gunmen. He is accompanied by a chief of different staff who is hopeful that the tour will bring about meaningful progress. Fatima Tejaju has more on this report. Barely two months after his appointment as Minister of Defense, Sheikh Omar Fai left the capital Banjul for a nationwide tour of military installation to assess the conditions of living of the Gambia Armed Forces. Speaking to journalists at his departure at the Banjo Ferry Terminal, he hinted that the tour would domesticate the concept of reforms in the security sector that turns around the continuity of peace and stability of the Gambia. The priority is to ensure the Gambia is a safe place and one of the best places in the world. That's what the president wants. That's, why, that's what we also want, the Gambia to stabilize, to be peaceful, so that there will be development. The president says yesterday, without security, without peace, you can have all the gold and diamond you have in this world, all the petrol, but if you don't have peace, the, your country will not be stable. So the president wants all Gambians to be in peace, and that's why we're doing these moves, to reorganize, because we've come a long way. It's been a very difficult couple of decades, and we want to repair and look for avenues of redress and start moving forward. And and we are looking at everything to make sure we consolidate on our gains, make sure Gambians are informed that they have to be peaceful, they have to watch their back, they have to protect their country. Fai, who until his appointment August was Gambia's consul general in Saudi Arabia, described his move as implementation of government agenda in consolidating security strength beyond the corridors of the armed forces. Our security policies are in place. We are putting up lots of other strategies. We have cabinet supporting. We have the steering committee. We have, of course, office of the vice president and all sister services. The Chief of Defense Staff of the Gambia Armed Forces, Lieutenant General Masane Kinte, said the exercise would avail them the opportunity to interact with personnel of the Army and discuss to bring about solutions to issues affecting them. What we hope to achieve in this tour is to be able to communicate you know, with our personnel, uh, to be able to uh, assess their living and working conditions, but also more importantly, to be able to have the forum where we can discuss, you know, frankly, um, where we can also roll out the policies, the new policies, guidelines that we have for the members of the armed forces. It is also part of our objectives to be able to engage the, our civilian counterparts, the you know, uh, regional administration, uh, for us to, uh, because security is a collective responsibility, um, if you are calling for human security, it starts with the human person. So the civilians are very key in, in that. The Gambia security is still backed by the ECOWAS sub-regional forces that compelled the former president to hand over power to the Adam Barrett-led coalition government following a political impasse in January 2017. The mandate of the economic forces has since been extended, with President Barrow committing to maintain them as long as the country needs their service.